Ballistic shields are carried by police forces to stop or deflect bullets. They make sense when establishing a perimeter, approaching a high-risk subject, or as a personal shield in a defensive situation. They do not, however, make sense for US troops in combat. Here's why. And by the way, in this video I will use the term ballistic shield to be an all-inclusive term for type 3A rated shields used by law enforcement. <gasps> A ballistic shield loses its edge on a battlefield, and more so against an unconventional foe. First of all, the shield is cumbersome. The size and weight reduces a rifleman's speed and mobility, two very important traits that are not eagerly sacrificed by warriors. It's always better to dodge a bullet than to block it. Whoa. A modern troop will already be equipped with heavy gear, ammo, and a chest full of patriotism. We don't want to add more weight to their battle rattle. The ballistic shield is lightweight only in the sense that it weighs under 20 pounds. It just becomes another thing to lug around with no comfortable method of carry. Firefights can sometimes last hours, days, or in some of the most brutal circumstances, months. Warriors need to be as lightweight as possible with the most efficient means of protection, which is why some people suggest a shield, right? Wrong, 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 wrong. Unfortunately, the ballistic shield isn't the right tool for the job. Unconventional enemies use high-caliber, armor-piercing rounds. Most of what you would find when fighting terror organizations would rip right through a ballistic shield. You just won't find the Islamic State imposing their twisted ideologies with a 9mm. An improvised explosive device buried in the ground will effectively neutralize any benefit of that additional armor. Finally, most battles don't devolve into a standoff sealed away from the rest of the city. Okay, everybody just calm down. Battle tactics involve soundly defeating the threat, which is much different from the law enforcement objective to protect and serve. Ballistic shields have earned their place as a staple for law enforcement because they have a specific purpose. Those same shields offer little to no benefit in military combat. You know who does use the ballistic shield? The NASA SWAT team. Yeah, that's a thing, and they're awesome. NASA has a SWAT team, and they're awesome. That's right, NASA. Click the link below to check them out. And while you're there, leave us a comment and weigh in on the best tactics you've seen our troops employ overseas.